Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Rosette and today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day video. If you haven't done so already, please do give this video a thumbs up if you like any portion of this video, subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all that I am doing, and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back, and without any further ado, let's get into this video. This morning, I am actually craving a matcha latte. I'm like on my knees and I need to get up. And so I'm actually going to <laughs> schedule to pick that up. It's supposed to be like in the 70s today, so I don't think I'm gonna get a hot matcha latte. I'm gonna get an iced matcha latte. And I try to reserve the weekends for me to like buy coffee not coffee, but like, you know, caffeinated drink. So that is uh, what I'm going to do. So you guys are going to come with me to Starbucks and we're going to get my breakfast. And then we're going to make a quick little trip to Sprouts and see if they have this pineapple coconut drink that I would like to have. Um, I really hope they have it in stock. If they don't, I'm gonna be so sad. All right, so I'm having, the first thing I'm having today is a fruit crusher. It's the apple banana one from Trader Joe's. I had to take that with my, um, my vitamin because it is advised that you're not supposed to take your vitamin um, on an empty stomach. You're supposed to take it with food. So applesauce is kind of my go-to uh, since I forgot that I had to throw out some shredding that I did last night. Let's see. I'm going to make my order on the Starbucks app. I just prefer it, honestly. It's kind of how I live my life and then do I want to get a tall or do I want to get a grande it's actually like a lot colder than I thought so I had to change you know costume change but um yeah I'm gonna get it hot <laughs> today so I think I'll get a tall usually within five minutes my Starbucks order is ready It's wild. Also, throughout the day that I finished that cr um, fruit crusher, I'm going to be drinking the coconut water. I used to, like, drink these all the time on the weekends. But they didn't have them at my Trader Joe's. So... For a long time. So now I'm back to... They had them and I was like, I am buying them now so I can at least have them on the weekends. Because I feel like sometimes on the weekends I don't drink enough water and coconut water is just like my way to just really stay hydrated. Just got... Yep. Good. Got the matcha latte with coconut milk. Oops podcast is most likely gonna start <laughs> Matt Bella says on happy hour um, okay no, it's not. you'll get to hear me tell jokes and then I got El banana bread well banana nut well banana nut loaf mmm Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's the perfect breakfast for me. Ooh, man, that is hot, 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 hot. But so good. It's honestly my favorite thing to get at Starbucks is a matcha latte with coconut milk and banana whip bread. I 
if I could start my day with that every morning, I'd be one happy girl. The cloud, the overcast of clouds is going away because the blue skies are like upon us. They're looking beautiful. I'm so excited for summer. All right. So I got more than I expected out of Sprouts because the one thing that I went there for, they didn't have. They didn't have the pineapple coconut juice. I don't think it's being sold anywhere, which is so sad. It's so sad. Anyways, I got kefir. Got that goat kefir. I also got coconut milk, which is not popular, I guess, these days because Everywhere I go, it's like oat milk galore and coconut milk is like, there's only one brand that sells it. And then I got one can of uh, clam chowder, dairy-free clam chowder, because y'all know I, I love that stuff. And then Cool House has typically had dairy-free ice cream sandwiches at Whole Foods exclusively. And they've had like some dairy-free ice cream pints at Sprouts, but now they have the dairy-free ice cream sandwiches at Sprouts, so it's no longer exclusive to Whole Foods. I mean, I don't know if that was how they always had it, but typically when I went to the, my Sprouts or any Sprouts here in Colorado, I didn't see them, so you get three in this box, and it's so much cheaper and more affordable to get this than the individual ones. Um, granted, they are smaller, so that's, you know, definitely a factor. And then, lastly, but not least, I got these two probiotic prebiotic drinks. It is by Wild Wonder. I got the Mango Turmeric and the Guava Rose. So that's what that looks like. Cute little, it's a green bottle, it's just kind of like hard to see. But it's really cute. And then the Guava Rose is really cute as well it really goes with my nails to be quite honest with you like my nails are really given the, the inspo of these cans so yeah i really like that it's no refined sugar gmo free vegan and women owned and the can is also recyclable it is a prebiotic and probiotic sparkling drink it supports gut and immune health and it's caffeine free which I love and it says create everyday wonders happy gut happy life I just love that oh and it gives like a little description growing up my Chinese grandma brewed tonics with a symphony of wild herbs they worked wonders soothing my stomach and lifting my spirits wow that is so cool I love that also cool house is a woman-owned um, business handcrafted real ingredients where does it say? Woman led and founded. Well, you can't really you can't really see that, but it's there. <sighs> Anyways, I'm gonna finish. I already finished my banana bread. I'm gonna finish my matcha latte. It's about to be church time. I'm gonna watch church at home. I'm pretty sure it's about to be. Or is the time in my car? No, it's right. No, 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 no. Mm. I'm gonna go to the website. Yeah, it's about to be church time. So I'm gonna head home. It's starting to get brighter, so I should put my sunglasses on. And I will check in with y'all Excuse me, later.
Okay, so lunch is served. I'm having the, it's that like mushroom potato medley. Sorry, it's like fogging up. Um, with some green beans and then I added like a lot of spinach which obviously always you know dwindles down and then I have some ground turkey I'll just zoom in because I think that will be easier um, I have some ground turkey that I like put this garlic um, sauce all over I put it in my recent um, grocery haul I will link it in the cards for you guys above so you can see what I'm talking about. But it's my grocery haul of this like garlic sauce that I got. It's an Indian um, garlic sauce. I literally cannot remember the name for the life of me. But yes, I, I used it and it's really, really good and flavors the meat so well. I mean, I'm sure you could use it on vegetables too. But yeah, I'm just having this. And then I decided to go for the mango turmeric as well so i'm going to drink this with my meal for lunch really excited gotta clean off the can first <laughs> Wow, the smell is very potent. Mm. I like it. It tastes like you can definitely taste the mango, but it's not overly sweet, but you can for sure taste it. I don't think I taste the turmeric that much I mean I probably hold on no you do taste the turmeric I don't know it gives me kind of like a floral I don't know if you guys have like had floral drinks in the past it gives a hint of that so it's definitely like herbs and spices and stuff like that, but it also gives like a floral kind of vibe. But I do like how it's a probiotic and a prebiotic drink, a sparkling drink. I like it. I think it's really good. It's kind of like fancy, it makes me feel fancy. So I'm gonna finish eating my <laughs> food and I'm watching Forecasting Love and Weather on netflix it's a korean drama i have been kind of delaying myself watching it and because there's so many dramas at one time mainly because i'm trying to like not watch a lot of tv right now i'm trying to listen to more podcasts and read my books because i just haven't really been prioritizing that and i've been really wanting to work on that for the year my goal this year is to read 24 books and I used to read a lot all the time, never really counted, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna set a goal for myself for reading a lot of books. So far, let me go on my Goodreads <laughs> account and see, I have read four books total. Apparently I'm a book behind schedule. <laughs> so I need to like up it, but I'm currently reading like one, two, I'm reading two books at once right now, so I just gotta finish them and then I'll be ahead of schedule. But yeah, I'm trying to, I need to finish those. But yeah, that's kind of like my goal for the year is to read 24 books. And I've currently read four, but I'm currently reading two at the same time. So once I finish those, I'll have six books under my belt. So I'm gonna get back to watching this show that has several like a lot more episodes left but i'm taking my time through it i'm trying to really pace myself because with k-dramas i can binge a whole series in a day 
And now that the weather is like getting better outside, I'm just like, you need to spend more time outside. So when the weather gets even nicer, my goal is to go to a park and read um, and just pass the time doing that because that's nice. Anyways, I'm going to finish my food. I have yet to start drinking my coconut water. I will. I promise. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. All right. Costume change. I changed back into the dress because I got really hot in my apartment because it's starting to warm up a lot now. It's like, let's see. What's the weather like outside this Sunday? Yeah, it's 62 degrees and it's only going to get hotter. Um, I think tonight it's going to be in like the 50s, which is nice. I'm really, that's how you know that she's about to be in her 30s. She's talking about the weather to y'all. Anyways, I am having the dairy-free horchata ice cream sandwich that I got from Sprouts. How do I put hair on Ooh, it's so cute and small. Look at that. Look at that. Compared to like my hand, it like fits perfectly. So I'm gonna have this. Mm. On the side here, it says woman led and founded, plant powered, made with pea protein, vegan, and made with cacao butter. And then it says, hope you don't mind. We left the dairy at home. <laughs> Thank you, Cool House, for leaving the dairy at home. Because your homegirl, me, cannot consume it. I'm going to have this. It's really cold. <laughs> and I'm going to continue watching a K-drama. <laughs> So I changed because I'm about to head out and do some errands and with the youth ministry that I'm part of at my church, we have an event that we do every Sunday. We It's like our youth ministry night and so this Sunday we are doing a service um, project. So we're cleaning up at the church um, with the kids and you know the youth leaders, youth ministry leaders. And yeah, so I am dressed for the occasion, um, wearing some shorts. I mean, this is how we're looking. <laughs> as, as you can see, my favorite shorts from the uh, Costco Champion. I don't know why I did that. But anyways, I need to head out. I had some of this. I'm actually just gonna have water because this will be easier to travel with because that one is cardboard. So I'll put that in the fridge. And yeah, I am also gonna be going to an Oscars party tonight. So I'll show as much as I can what I eat there um, as well. So I'm gonna check in with y'all later whipped them up against the thick plex window and they sounded like shot from the barrel of a gun. <laughs> Alright guys, I am back home. I am in bed. Oh, I need to brush my teeth. Dang. Okay, I need to brush my teeth and I need to put my retainers in. But yeah, I just got back home. I showered, I washed my face. Clearly, I need to brush my teeth now. Take care of my dental hygiene. But that is everything that I ate um, at my friend's house 
it was just like a charcuterie board mixture that I had. So I had some goat cheese with some honey that I drizzled on top with some salami sausage and peach jam sauce, some chips, tortilla, corn tortilla chips, I think. And what else? Grappes, grapes, which, yeah, was really good. It was delicious. A very eventful night. Oh my gosh. So much fun. The best time. Loved it. But wow, what an eventful night. But that is everything that I ate today. Thank you so much if you've watched till the end. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I really appreciate you. And yeah, if you liked any part of this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I am doing. And comment down below. Say hi. I say hi back. And don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.